Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix Sweat and in this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily learn and understand the base mixer brush tool settings and also how you can easily apply the mixer brush tool when it comes to editing your photos using frequency separation. So if at all that is what you have always struggled with, simply hit the like button and all along if at all as you are watching and you find the video full, like the video and drop a comment in the comment section if at all you come across any kind of issues or hindrances so without further ado let's get started so this is the image that we want or we want to work on so with this you always have to understand how frequency separation works and i want to explain for you how it works because the mr brush tool won't work best for you if at all you are not having the right textures in your image so you always have to create that nice and good starting point for the image so if at all you're a beginner and you don't have an action then first of all explain for you how frequency separation works so i'll create these two layers for frequency separation by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j on the keyboard to create those two layers and usually this is the low frequency layer and the up layer is the high frequency layer i'm just going to name these two high just like that and after doing that i'm just going to come right here to the high frequency layer now deactivate it and select the low frequency layer so usually this is the most important step when it comes to editing photos using frequency separation and if at all you have an action your action is always going to stop at the point where but you have to place in or determine the amount of textures you want to remain with or the amount of Gaussian blur you want to remain with or to apply on the image so for this we're just going to come to filter and come to blind come to Gaussian blur so usually the action stops at this point but you have to put in the Gaussian blur radius in the image so like I said this is the most important step when it comes to retaining or losing out skin textures in your final final edited image so what you do click by using this box icon click on an area that you feel has more skin textures so you can zoom in and out and with that simply left click on the radius slider and start taking it up so left click as you you are dragging and releasing to see the effect apply in real time so i'll just take it up so the trick here is you have to stop at the point whereby you are just starting to lose out on the skin on the skin textures so you stop at the point whereby you, you are just starting to lose out on the skin textures but you can still identify where the textures were and what you have to understand is the lower the radius the smoother or the less skin texture you are going to be remaining with in the image and the higher the radius the more textures you remain with in your finally edited image so for this case what i want to do or what i'm going to do i have to drag this and look for an area depending on the amount of textures you want to remain with in your image so i've stopped at the point where by the textures have just started to get lost from the image but i can still identify where they were so hit ok and simply select this and activate the high frequency layer come to image and come to apply image then choose the low frequency layer under the layer option turn rgb the blend mode we are going to be using is add invert is turned on the scale is to offset zero and if at all you're working with an 8-bit image this is going to change to subtract and the invert option is not turned on the scale is to an offset 128 so mine is a 16-bit image so i'll just change this to the 16-bit settings hit ok change it from normal to linear light so if at all you have the action it is going to automatically create for you these layers so after doing this the next thing is going to be understanding how to use and apply the mr brush tool and before we proceed with the mr brush tool i want to identify for you and show you how to apply the mr brush tool on your images so let me first of all create this empty layer for purposes of a demonstration so you can see if at all you look at and analyze this image 
you can see that we have varying skin tone transitions. So if at all I hide the textures, you can see that we have uneven skin tone transitions in this image. So how to apply the mixer brush tool? You are simply going to follow the way light is falling on the model's face. So for this forehead area, light is moving in this kind of direction and this other side, this direction just like that. So you have to move the brush as you're trying to mix and blend the transitions within the skin following the direction. So when it comes to the nose area, you have to move in that direction because the nose is moving in this kind of direction and same to the cheek because it is moving in that direction. So the reason for this is because we always want to maintain. So on the chin, you have to follow this direction and that is how you're going to be painting on the skin to even out the transitions within the skin color or the skin tones. So where these colors are transitioning from one color to another, we always have to mix that area. So you blend using a brush to blend the transitions between one color to another. So you blend using a smaller brush to mix and have a nice transition between those colors. Like I said, the strokes have to follow the way the, the face of the model is. So after understanding that, and when you're mixing, you always have to mix a given color alone. So I'm just going to show you this. So if at all I'm working on this area, I'll use the mixer brush tool and blend that area just like that to mix it. And also release and work on the shadow area just like that. And mix the mid-tones alone like that. So where they're transitioning from one color to another, I'll use a small brush and blend those transitions. So basically that is how you can simply understand how to apply the mix the mixer brush tool. So right now we are going to dive into the settings for the mixer brush tool. And as usual, always select the low frequency layer. And after selecting it, hide the high frequency layer. So come and select the mixer brush tool. If at all the mixer brush tool is not under the brushes, so you can right click and get the mixer brush tool. If at all it is not under the brushes, you can locate it among these tools. So just come right here and make sure the hardness set to zero and soft round brush is selected. Make sure that the brush is clean because we don't want the brush to carry colors from one area to another because skin tones always have a variety of variations. So you can see that we have highlights and this area is brighter than this area. So we always want the brush to be clean. And to complement that, we have the second option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke, which is the second option right here. Because the first option indicates that you are commanding Photoshop to load the brush after each and every stroke, meaning when you load the brush from this highlight area and you paint it in the dark area, it is going to carry the previous color to this dark area, which we don't want. So just want the brush to be automatically cleaned up by Photoshop. The weight we are going to be using is 9% because we don't want to spill colors from one area to another. With a load of 75%, mix at 90 in the flow of 100%. Make sure sample orders is not turned on because when you turn this on and you accidentally leave this turned on or the high frequency layer turned on and you paint a given area, it means you have told or you have commanded the brush to sample from these two layers in the frequency separation group, meaning you have told the brush to also paint information from the high frequency layer or the textures into the low frequency layer, which you don't want. So always make sure this option is not turned on and hide this the reason for hiding this is because we want to see the uneven skin tone transitions better so you can see right now you can't see or identify easily the uneven transitions within the skin tone and as soon as you hide this you can see the uneven skin tone transitions so how to apply the missile brush tool after selecting it so if i told the brush is showing a, pl a plus icon press the caps lock here on the keyboard so to increase or decrease on the size of the brush, you can use the open and close brackets on the keyboard. So as we are selected on the low frequency layer, right now we just want to blend this area just like that. So to blend, you left click and hold down and mix just like that. So like I said, you can notice that the strokes I'm making are following the direction 
or the shape of the model's face or the way light was falling onto the model's face. So after mixing a given area, you release the left click button and come to a new area and hold down the left click button and simply mix. And to mix, you just drag and move the mouse in a given direction that you're trying to mix and blend. So if at all you're using a graphics or a tablet, just be as if you're writing or painting using a colored pencil. So you hold down and you paint or as if you're writing. So mix this highlight area just like that. So you can see after mixing the highlight area, we have this harsh transition right there. So reduce on the size of the brush. And by the way, as you're mixing, don't zoom all the way in because when you zoom all the way in, you won't be seeing the uneven skin tone transitions. So for example, if at all you do this, you can't see the uneven transitions better, but you can see at a distance, it helps you identify the unevenness. So if at all you want to work on this area, we are going to paint just like that. And just like that, we have been, or we have gotten rid of that dark area or dark patch that was existing. And the skin is looking better and smooth. So I'm just going to work on the cheek area just like that. And better, you can notice that the image looks a little bit plastic, but uh, this is okay because we initially turned off our texture layer. So on the cheek, I'm following the direction of how light is falling on the subject. So on the chin, I'll mix the highlight alone and mix these mid-tones just like that. And when it comes to the nose, reduce on the size. Remember to retouch at a distance and mix the dark areas alone mix those dark areas alone just like that and simply use a small brush to mix the highlight area so like i said the image is looking somehow plastic but when we come back and we turn on the high frequency like you can see textures are still left intact in the image so it's the before after before after the textures are still left intact in the image so Continue mixing each and every area. So hide this and continue working. So on the hand area also, paint the dark areas of the hand alone just like that. And mix the highlight al alone. And while it is transitioning, get a small brush and mix. So you can see this is moving in that direction. So I'll mix and blend it. So basically this is how you can easily use the mixer brush tool. And to grasp it better, always practice and you can always do this within a short period of time so you can say before after before after so this is how you can easily learn and understand how to use the mixer brush in photoshop and don't forget to remove the blemishes after applying and using the mixer brush tool so this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you're watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from ronix photography Thank for watching. I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.